आए चार्ल्स मुरेव कहारे The death of Francis Ogola has stirred up more questions than answers, particularly regarding who will succeed him as the next chief of the defense forces (CDF). Social media is already buzzing with speculations, with many suggesting that Lieutenant General Charles Kahariri, the former head of the Kenya Navy who currently serves as Ogola's deputy, as a likely candidate. However, recent revelations indicate a different direction. catching most of us off guard now the criteria for succession to the cdf position is influenced by the principles laid out by daud tonje a former military leader who established guidelines for the promotion appointment and ongoing training of army officers in kenya one significant guideline was a rotation of the cdf position ensuring that commanders from each of the three branches of the Kenyan Defence Forces that is army navy and air force had an equal opportunity to lead the military now according to these tonje rules if you are the commander you would come to the levels of becoming uh, probably from the commander then vice uh, chief of the defence forces then eventually the cdf Now before Ogola assumed the role of CDF he was already the Air Force commander while General Robert Kibochi from the Kenya Army held the office This implies that the next military chief would come from the Kenya Navy as per the Tonje rules Now the most suitable and qualified candidate for the position is Lieutenant General Charles Kahariri Ogola's deputy and the current Vice Chief of the Defense Forces If you follow the same trajectory that we have seen in Ogola's ascent to CDF office. Now the main issue with the rules is that they are not written down anywhere. The Tonje rules weren't made into laws or official regulations. They were just agreements spoken between military leaders during Daudi Tonje's time. In other words, they were just verbal agreements between these bosses. Now what happens next? What if these rules aren't followed when choosing the next CDF? Well, the KDF Act of 2012 exposes or rather sheds light on this. It reveals that the power to appoint the next CDF lies with the president, based on the recommendation of the Defense Council. Now, this council includes the cabinet secretary, the current CDF, the three commanders of the defense forces, that is from the army, navy and the air force. and the principal secretary according to the KDF Act of 2012 so in this case the responsibility of deciding who the next CDF should be falls in the current interior CS Kithure Kindiki since the previous CDF has passed away the decision rests with the three commanders from the army navy and the air force that is major general David Kimayo Tarus Major General Thomas Nganga and Major General John Omenda respectively along with the Principal Secretary Dr Raymond Omolo. Now this group will have the responsibility of suggesting the next CDF or rather Chief of Defence Forces to the President for appointment. It is important to note that according to the KDF Act the Defence Council is tasked with making this recommendation. However, it is crucial also to remember that the president isn't necessarily bound by this recommendation. He has the freedom to reject the recommendation if he wants. He might opt for someone of his choice, potentially using indirect methods like the Tonje rules. Considering how previous CDFs like Ogola ascended from commander positions to vice chief of the defense forces and to the the CDF office what if the president decides to select one of the current commanders instead these commanders include major general david kimayo tarus of the army major general thomas nganga of the navy and major general john omenda of the air force what if president william ruto reject the recommendation of the defense council because probably The Defense Council might present Charles Kahariri as the next CDF. And maybe the president would be like, uh-uh, "I don't think 
uh, he should be the next CDF. Let me choose one of my own. And then he goes to the army commanders. That is uh, Kuna Major General Thomas Nganga of the Navy, Major General John Omenda of the Air Force, and Major General David Kimaio Tarus of the Army. If you look at these three guys, who do you think the president is likely to choose by just judging from their looks, their names, and you know how they have, they have served the military? Who do you think the president would choose? Hmm? Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye-bye.